Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes. Today I am going to discuss equivalence between mechanical work and heat. And this is a very common observation that whenever some mechanical work is done, heat is always produced. For example, when we rub our hands against each other, heat is produced. And you might, might have noticed that the engine of your car, bike or scooter becomes hot after doing some mechanical work. So this means that heat is always produced when some mechanical work is done. And exact measurement of work done and heat produced was done by Joule in the year 1850. And after performing a series of experiments, he found that for a definite amount of work done, same amount of heat will be produced. I will explain this statement later on. And he also found that work done is directly proportional to heat. This means larger is the work done, more is the heat produced. And when this proportionality is converted into equality, we are going to have a constant. Why there is a constant? I am going to post a video uh, showing that why a constant is introduced when this proportionality is converted into equality. Okay. So this constant joule uh, J is called as joules mechanical equivalent of heat. And if Q is equal to 1 calorie, that is I will substitute Q equal to 1 calorie, then W will be equal to J. Okay. So now I can define joules mechanical equivalent of heat that it is the amount of work done required to produce one calorie of heat and joule calculated it. He showed that when 4.184 joule work is done, one calorie of heat is produced. This means that for the definite amount of work done, for the definite amount of work done, same amount of heat will be produced. Every time, if this much amount of work done you will do, this much of heat you are going to get. If I multiply this equation by 2, then 8.368 joule work will produce 2 calorie of heat. So, the definite amount of work done will produce same amount of heat every time. So this was the equivalence between mechanical work and heat. And in my next video, I am going to discuss first law of thermodynamics. And also, I will discuss zeroth law of thermodynamics. Okay, so keep watching my videos and please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.